Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. I love versatile costume pieces, and this one was requested by Maddie and others. This circle skirt is a bit different from the two-panel circle skirt I did before. This one is actually three panels, which give more volume and has two layers, creating a more gorgeous and dramatic effect, especially when you twirl. And it's reversible, so you can have two different looks in one. Excited? Let's get started. To make this reversible double layer circle skirt, you need lightweight fabric. I recommend chiffon or lightweight satin for this project. Since it's reversible, you can pick two different colors or mix plain fabric and fabric with prints. Here's the same style circle skirt with just one layer. If you use fabric with prints like this, make sure the prints show well on both sides like this because both sides will be visible. How much fabric you need depends on your size. You can download the chart with how much fabric you need for this project and more from the link on the screen. Elastic? I'm using 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter wide elastic. About 1 meter or 1 yard should be plenty. Matching color thread and regular sewing tools and paper to make a pattern with. You can use any paper but you need a large piece about 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters. I simply taped two pieces of wrapping paper to make a pattern for this project. First, we'll take a couple of measurements. Measure the largest part of your hip and your desired skirt length. Take the skirt length measurement on the back of your body so you take the curves of your hip into account. Otherwise, the skirt can be at the right length in front but short at the back. Then we'll do a quick math. Now, if this math doesn't make sense, you can download the chart with the calculation done for you from the link on the screen. So don't worry if you don't understand what I'm doing here. So each of the three panels of this skirt is going to be a half circle with a small half circle opening in the middle. So we need to determine the diameter of the two half circles. First, we'll work on the small half circle. Take your hip measurement, divide it by three. Now this calculation is much easier if you use centimeters. So if you use inches, convert your measurement from inches to centimeters. In my case, my hip measurement was 90 centimeters. So 90 divided by 3 is 30 centimeters. Add 2 centimeters to it. So 30 centimeters plus 2 centimeters equals 32 centimeters. This is the circumference of the small half circle. Multiply it by 2 and divide it by 2 pi. And you get the half the diameter of the small circle. So for me, 32 centimeters times 2 divided by 2 pi equals 10.2 centimeters. And here I use 3.14 for pi. Now for the larger half circle, you simply add your skirt length and 2 centimeters for seam allowance to the half diameter of the small circle. So for me, the half diameter of the small circle we saw was 10.2 centimeters. So add my skirt length which is 87 centimeters and 2 centimeters and I get 99.2 centimeters. This is the half diameter of the larger half circle. So on your paper, draw a half of this half circle, so a quarter circle based on these measurements, and cut it out. This will be your circle skirt pattern. Now take your fabric, fold it right sides together, and place the quarter circle pattern against the fold. Place weight and cut around the pattern. Trim off the salvage edges too. Open it up and you have one big half circle panel. You need three panels for each layer of your skirt. So if you're using two types of fabric like I am here, get three panels out of each type of fabric. In total, you'll have six panels. Then out of leftover fabric, cut out two rectangle pieces for each fabric. They are all 2 inches or 5 centimeters wide and the shorter one is one third of your hip measurement plus 2 centimeters and the longer one is 2 thirds of your hip measurement plus 2 centimeters. These are for making the waistbands. 
Take the half circle panels and finish the straight edges however way you like. I use my rolled hem foot here, but you can do a simple zigzag stitch or use a serger. Also, while you're at it, baste this small curved section with a quarter of an inch or 5mm seam allowance. Basting is simply doing a straight stitch with a long stitch length to hold layers temporarily together. In this case, this basting stitch prevents the curved part from stretching out. Do this for all 6 panels. Then take 2 panels from one layer, place them right sides together and sew along one of the straight edges with a quarter of an inch or 5mm seam allowance. Do this for two panels from the other layer too. Next, take corresponding layers. So in my case, place a pink panel and a navy blue panel together with the wrong size facing each other. Line up the top and if the layers don't match up well, pull one of the basting threads of the longer layer a little bit. This shrinks the curve so you can match it all up. Then distribute the fabric evenly. Once the layers are matched up, do a basting stitch again along the small curved edge to hold these two layers together. The seam allowance is a quarter of an inch or 5 millimeters. Repeat this for the other connected panels. Now take the waistband pieces and fold the short ends a quarter of an inch or 1 centimeter from the edge towards the wrong side and do a simple straight stitch. Then match up the corresponding pieces and do a straight stitch along one of the long edges with half an inch or one centimeter seam allowance. Use an iron to press open the seam, then fold the waistband and press again. Then take one of the long sides, here I'm taking the pink side, fold it at half an inch or one centimeter from the edge and press. Repeat this for the other waistband. Next, we'll attach these waistbands to the skirt panels. First, take the side of the waistband with no fold. For mine, it's the navy blue side. Place it on top of the matching side of the skirt panel, right sides facing each other. Match up the edges and do a straight stitch with a half an inch or one centimeter seam allowance. Do the same for the other panel now so you don't have to switch up your threads. Then, on the other side of the skirt panel, bring the waistband over and the folded edge should just cover the stitches from sewing the other side of the waistband. Do a top stitch to secure it in place with a 1 8 of an inch or 2 mm seam allowance. Here, match the threads with the colors of your fabric. So in my case, I used pink thread for the top thread and navy blue for the bobbin thread. This way, they match the colors of the skirt on both sides. And at this point, take your time and press all seams. It takes patience, but this makes the seams look 10 times more beautiful. Now see how much elastic you need around your waist? Give 1 inch seam allowance and cut it, and thread it through the waistbands with a safety pin. The elastic connects the two panels, and now it looks more like one skirt. Sew the ends of the elastic together. It's really exciting to see your skirt coming together, but now we have to be patient. At this point, hang the skirt like this for about one week. This is because circle skirts tend to stretch out over time. So take a break and we'll let it stretch now before cleaning up the hem. After a week, your skirt will have stretched quite a bit, especially where the panels are cut on the bias. Measure your skirt length plus half an inch or one centimeter seam allowance from the waistband and trim the excess. If you have a dress form, I recommend you hang the skirt on the dress form and measure from the floor to get a more accurate result. Then finish the hem however way you like. You can do rolled hem, a zigzag stitch or use a serger. If you need help with how to hem or how to handle this type of material, I explain it more thoroughly in detail in my belly dance costume workshop. If you're curious, check it out from the link on the screen. Now you have a beautiful, professional looking three panel circle skirt.
Because you can shift and adjust your panels, you can adjust the width of the slits as you like depending on the occasion or choreography. And because it's reversible, you can enjoy two looks in one skirt. Well, two looks minimum, because you can actually create many more looks out of this skirt. In my next video, I'll show you how to create 16 different styles out of this reversible circle skirt. If you're curious, subscribe to my newsletter and stay tuned. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, let's share love and inspiration and share this post with your dancer friends. And if you want the measurement chart that saves you time for calculating measurements, click the link on the screen to get it for free. And of course, if you're curious about making more belly dance costumes, click the link on the screen to sign up for my free course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!